Shut up and listen. Shut up. So shut up. You don't shut Man, up. Shut up, Shane. Hey. <laughs> shut up and listen. It's time for Wrangler talk. It's time for G Mama. Um, another cool idea, a cool tip that John gave me or gave us women was before you head out off roading or wheeling, take your recovery strap and put it underneath your driver's seat. Because that way, if it's stuck in the back, in some bag, or in some crevice in the back of your Jeep, and you're in all this mud or all this water, you don't have to go climbing through your Jeep, or you don't have to get out and get all muddy and, and dirty. And so anyway, I just thought that was a really cool tip. Mine is permanently under my driver's seat, um, and I just wanted to share that with you. Another thing um, I haven't mentioned yet, because I was a little leery about um, if I was going to continue with this or not, but I love sharing my Jeep adventure on my blog and through this Jeep adventure and through the podcast and through social media, I've come across these really cool, cool Jeep stuff. And I started sharing that. Um, I do a little, you know, three to 10 minute little video on YouTube and I'm just sharing all these cool things that I find. And one of those things, um, I did a episode eight, it's called Jeep Mama's Garage, and it was on YouTube. And I did um, the video with CPO, who's been on our show before, and he shared this really cool phone mount. And um, it's called 67 Designs, and it's the JK mount with the universal mount. And one thing that I had no idea was on your JK, and I'm sure everybody else probably knows this, and I'm like the only one who doesn't know this. Oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> um, on the upper dash is the little, I don't know, the coin change holder or where you could put your stuff. And it's like one of these plastic rubber holders, and you 